Hello everybody and welcome to The Outer Worlds. So a couple things before I start. I am playing this on PC. Figured I might as well try and get back into playing on PC. Because I think I can record 60 FPS and play a game in 60 FPS. So might as well. Also, I mean, best thing about this game, it's free on Game Pass. So I downloaded it on the Xbox beta app or whatever it is. And uh, I'm testing it out. Hopefully, it all works. Uh, perfect. I know you're supposed to barely s Okay, on the... <laughs> For me, I can barely see there. Like, right there. On the capture, it looks like it's all black. I'll go for the capture. Right about there. Even 50. This is actually very loud. Oh, just turned it up in my ears. Everything's on very high, very high. Good, good. Also, this game could not have come out at a more perfect time with Bethesda announcing a $100 subscription to Fallout 76. What the fuck are you thinking? And you release this game for free? Wait, no, this, is, this isn't Bethesda, is it? No, it's just the guys that made... Same guys that made, uh... New Vegas. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Oh, obviously we're on Supernova. I just want to see what this adds. You cannot re-enable it. Enemies have more health, more damage. You must eat, drink, and sleep. Companions can die permanently. Crippled body... Crippled body and limb conditions can only be healed with bed rest. Weapon armor... Weapon and armor work very poorly. At zero durability. You can only fast travel to your ship. You can only sleep inside your ship. You can only manually save inside your ship. Auto saves are limited. All right, let's go with normal, yeah. As much as I love a good story. On, on, on. Perfect. Uh, I do want a bit of a challenge. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Yeah, a lot of years into the future. Hope to be left at edge of colony. Not working. I'm gonna get this cursor out of the way. Phineas Vernon Wellers. Oh, he's a fugitive. Put him down. Unless that's me. <sighs> Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever. Just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Oh, is he gonna pull me out? Okay. Attributes. I never know what I want to level up. Alright, let's do wait. You shouldn't have I can only do three just max. Uh, let's go at least one for strength. One for dex. No, should we just go one for everything? What is temperament? Natural health regen. Ooh. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just go all one for each. Uh, two points for two skills. It's a lot of skills. Uh, since we'll probably get handguns early on. We'll put those marksmanship ah. scores to good use. I thought I was selecting one of these, not all of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, guns. And then stealth. You certainly know your way around a Mac pick. Alright, I'm good with that. Ooh, aptitude. 
What does aptitude mean? All right, so I quickly read through all of these. Uh, I didn't realize it really doesn't matter, but just gives you like a big, like a little bonus, like plus one dodge or shock damage received minus 3%. Probably just go with this one, plus one determination, because none of them, none of them are really speaking to me. I ain't no chef, I ain't no janitor, I ain't no farmer. I've got a no, no discernible ad aptitude thing. All right, let's go with I'd that. I'd say your aptitude is being incredibly lucky. No, it's uh, determination, not luck. All right, appearance. Uh, I'm gonna want to be a dude. Now, can I do something? Can I? Okay. I normally don't do this when I play these games, but I also don't record it for fun. I think maybe whenever I play a game where I have to customize a character, I'm just gonna randomize it twice, three times, four times, five times. Perfect. <laughs> okay, that's the rule. Randomize five times, <laughs> and that's what you get. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm a male. <laughs> I can make it sure. I got a nice beard. I got some beautiful blonde locks. Is that female hair? Yeah, it's like Weaved in and shit. Beautiful blue eyes. Blue lipstick. Um, oh, I got a scar? Where's- Oh, I got scars all over. I'm re I'm really young. Okay, I can't change anything. That's my rule. It's my new rule I'm making right now. Except. What's your name? Uh, what should this guy's name be? Let's go with Baxel. I don't know why. I see that face. I think Baxel. Alright, next. Alright. I got one of everything. I got plus one determination. Uh, I, I'm proficient in guns. And sneaking and shit. And I look like that. <laughs> Except. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Not likely, bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. You do that with a hole in the wall? Oh, it's the rocket. Now, how many times did you jump? If it's like more than 70, you're gonna go a little crazy. Probably throw up. But you're alive. You you brought me with you, right? Okay. I think I'm waking up. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space. And forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Not too bad. Normally, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. What did no, you do? My ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Uh, I'm confused. You have horrible luck with buttons. Okay, bye. So wait, am I going to have to, like, find stuff in order to stay alive? 
like a science concoction or like medicine. So wait, is this, is this guy a good guy and wants to save the other people on that ship? Said he was a fugitive. Me? Is this thing working? Hello? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good you only luck. have ten percent power on that ship. Sure, you want to stay there? Colonists are counting on you. You probably could have sat on my lap, right? And we've landed. Can't tell. Am I on my side? Nope, that's just a very tall thing. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Hawthorne? Oh well. <laughs> you okay? No in letting his ship go to waste. Uh, he. I don't. Hawthorne won't mind I don't think he's breathing. Him. Better you than the board, huh? All right. Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Well, that's good. Shame right, you can jump far. Thing. Nasty way to go. Oh, what is that? What are you? Can I, can I punch you? No. Alright. You said he had a ship somewhere? Wait, spacebar 2? I'm, I'm double tapping spacebar. It's not doing it. What are these? Uh oh. Nope, just run. Okay, they ain't chasing. Hopefully they ain't. What? Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Wait, what? How long was I frozen for? What do you mean a while? Do you mean like a couple? Wow. Use the emergency medical inhaler. Oh. Alright, I have a limited amount of those. Alright. Hey, you. Come here. Where are you? you? Try the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stings. What? Hmm. What happened? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Uh. Gibbering, flesh eating, law breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Unless your gun misfires again. Uh, oh, do I have any of these? I probably do, since I have where I can select them. Should we try intimidating him? Yeah, you sound oh my god, it worked. Lieutenant. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Good job. Um, alright, I'll talk to you later, probably. Maybe not. Damn it, my ears! Sorry. Oh, oh what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... Sprat. It's tempting, but you're too cute. Oh. Tactical time dislocate delight dilation. Due to compilation stemming from your from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the TT tactical time dilation button slows down the world. Okay, so it's VATS. You have limited time and it refreshes slowly. Okay. 
It's a... Uh, that's got it. Is he dead? There we go. No, thank you. Can I loot you? Oh, that's what the double thing means. Ooh, a saber. You know, I probably should have shot those. I'm gonna pick up every hacking and picking locks. Okay. I got a staff. Am I a wizard? I'm on fire. No. Oh. Okay, weapon management. I have the four weapons equipped. Take care of your weapons and they'll take care of your enemies. Got it. What is this? Oh, it's just a staff. I thought it was like a magical staff. Alright, might as well equip them all. But I think I'm proficient in guns, so I might as well use this best I can. Oh. Okay, that takes way too long to pull out. Oh, the leg came off. I wonder. You can't hack off body parts. Boo. Ah, shit. Just realized sometimes it's not recording at 60. Let's see if that helps. All right, well, that was the game. Looks a lot better. That's a big hey, ship. Get over here before you get yourself killed. All right, where are you? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Is that Hawthorne's ship? Um, I found your teammate. How is he? Meh. Of course I am. I'm a superior officer. Stands to reason, don't it? Just you watch. I'll cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Sure. I don't think I have stuff that high. Do Spacer's Choice Guards back down from a challenge? Well, sometimes. Management's real good oh my at God, that worked. benefit analysis. How high is my persuasion? But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's going to be fucking laminated. I ain't doing the paperwork. Here we go. All right, Kimball. Wait. In. Oh, you're Mercer. Kimball's the other guy. Right. Nope. I just a fine bonus. Someone else? No. Nope. Waste of company ammo. I don't even know what I'm picking up. What is right, I'll take that. Another saber. How many of these am I gonna find? And can I combine them? Also, you were scared of that many marauders? It's like four. Please be informed that Welcome aboard, Apex no Transit. The Unreliable. Okay. Adreno? Is that just like adrenaline? Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Yeah, yeah, hang on. I want to... What is this? Workbench. <gasps> Yes. Item repair, engineering skill, you can repair without a workbench. Got it. Should I go all savers? That sounds really stupid. Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. 
Is that you? Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Mm. I have been programmed to communicate with diplomacy and tact. Please allow me to demonstrate. Jetfield procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. You realize we're on the ground? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. I can see that. Uh, so Hawthorne's? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. Well, it was before he squished himself. Orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Yeah, he's a red smear. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Yeah, sure, whatever. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm amazing at engineering. Astutely observed. However, the probability Can't believe that of locating worked. a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Um... Uh, can you stop calling me Hawthorne? It is difficult for me to do so. I am programmed to accept commands from Captain Alex Hawthorne, after all. Best of luck in and I command you to stop calling me that. Try to stay alive this time. Hold it. Alright. Who? Auntie Cleo. Alright. Skills. Got it. Level up. Oh, I got 10 points. Alright, so they all, they all go into that. Got it. Let's do some melee. Defense. And leadership. Why not? Confirm. Perks. It's a lot of perks. Immediately, yes, I want that. <laughs> I don't care if I'm not encumbered yet, but I want that now. Uh, all right, just journal stuff. Who cares? All right, so I gotta find a driver or something. Uh, Say, do you want to help me with this? Wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, Mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Ooh. <laughs> yes, oh, safety God. inspector. Oh. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Okay. Glad we can solve that without Butch. Uh, is there a map? How big is this map? And do I get to travel to different maps? So I just gotta find power regular. Let's go. What is... Oh, it's another ship. 
Careful where you land. They might dock your pay. Marauder. Oh, that's right. Sneak attacks. Did that work? I'm sneaking. Oh, what happened here? Alright, I didn't do these two. Uh, this might be a nice place. Uh, don't worry about it. Who are you? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. I mean, I just came from there. Your pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium? Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Right, you sold me. I'm being vigilant. Don't want to get blindsided by some corpse chewing marauder from stalking out the shadows. There's cannibals? Oh, worse. Unemployed cannibals. How's that worse? Have you ever seen a marauder hold down a job or put a stake into society? No. Well, if you're gonna go headhunting, talk to Constable Reyes back in town. She pays for marauders by the finger. So, how much is Ten Fingers worth? Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Well, I probably Dave killed him. Silas, junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Um... Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. So Some renting equals signatures. Delinquent and paying their dues, you see. Uh, all right, I think we got it. Four workers Tax collection. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Shove a sword up his ass. <clears throat> um, okay, I'll be back. I already started the game immediately. I have like five different quests. So wait, you see up in that tower? Okay, as usual... Uh, I'm not going to try and do side quests. Unless, like, I really need to, like, level up or anything. So, let's try and stick to the main. This is a nice town. Just no one... No receptionist, nothing. Ooh. Okay. Uh, up we go. That's some nice music. Where are the speakers? The grease monkey arc seems we've got a guest. Hey. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Uh do you have a thing I can take? I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Well, I don't belong here. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Long time. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. What if I just take it? I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But... I happen to know of another one, and I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Why would I fry myself? Oh, yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. There's a power huh. regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so... Oh, it's not going to be abandoned at all. ...being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. 
Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be abandoned, is that? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Surprised. Um, yeah, we're just surprised. I am not trying to pull one over on you, friend. You were bound to run into them sooner or later. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. So I don't need to kill him? Good law, no. I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. I don't think they'll let me cut it off willingly. Plan, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. <sighs> yeah, what does she look like? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. You could have said like a hair color or style, you know, something. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. All right. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Sure. Great. I got my Here's a body shield. and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Every gun. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you. And thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. All right, let's go. Companions. Yep, yep. All right, probably a lot more companions I can get along the way. Let's go. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't think you'd actually come in here. Probably planned for it though. What's your name? Par Parvatil? Parvati. Is it cool? Oh, it's Parvati. Mister, can we talk? Oh, Sorry. Really? Where are you? Chat? What? Sorry. I you just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just I said let's Mr. go. Hobson has his own view on matters on account of it's his job and, and what all but that's not the only side of the tale <sighs> what's the other side then to mr thompson a person's a gear it does its job quiet like if it squeaks or stutters it gets replaced the deserters are decent folk i knew some of them before they left well yes you want me to uh, not bring them back Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. It just... It don't seem right to me, mister. Then I guess we'll come I back here. I talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. I don't really want to. About if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors, Kim. Well, then why they leave? Something else to try, something we ain't. He used to go walking outside town. Maybe he found something that'll help. It's just an idea. That's all. <sighs> Parvati, you seem sweet. Let's let's go find him. Wait, what are these on the bottom right or bottom left? I'm going. Oh, it's commands. Okay. Go up there. It won't work. Sorry, I can't. Just fly. What does X mean? Does that mean fire? Probably. Don't want you shooting anyone yet. 
Wait. Oh, he's in here. Where am I? <gasps> Box. You're following me? Where are you? Sorry, I can't do it. Yeah, okay, there we right go. Over. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. I mean, I could spit on the floor if you like. Hello, Vicar. Vic. Vicar. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Uh, yeah. But what? I thought you would talk to him. Uh, not your idea. To speak to me, Ms. Holcomb. Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Yeah, cut the power. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Look at that ear. Always has, if you believe the talk. Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Right, that's what I was planning to do. If it were as easy as a few soothing words in the right ears, I'm sure it would have been done already. Consider it a challenge. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. I assume nowhere is safe. <laughs> the marauders I met when I ventured outside the walls might agree with you. Bastard snuck up on me while I was dutifully hunting for a banned book in a collector's library. Barely escaped with my life. But you see, one of the reasons I transferred here was to get my hands on that heretical text. If you managed to acquire it for me, I'd pay quite a handsome sum for the book. Oh, what do you know? Another quest. Oh wait, Bikar isn't a name, it's a title? Oh, what does that mean? All right, well, I heard you say something about money. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Uh, we'll see. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Okay. You happy with this plan? Good. Let's go. I could have sworn that's what we were planning to do, to bring them back, not just leave them there. Ooh, that's pretty far. Sorry, on the map, does it show all the quests at once? Alright, good to know I can fast travel. I probably can't when I'm bringing people along. Alright, let's go. Parvati? I don't know why no one can have just... Is that lava? Oh wait, there's something there. Candid feral? Are you like a beast or something? Where'd it go? Oh. Oh, there's more. What the hell? Why are there birds? Sweet. Uh, alright. Press X to order them to attack. Yeah, why can't anyone have any, like, normal names? Oh, T for that? And I gotta switch that later. Uh, she seems to have lost a leg there. I don't see it anywhere. Hmm, you ain't gonna meet Gerald anywhere. <laughs> you ain't going anywhere. I'll take your food, though. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one here. Thank you all for watching. 
Be sure to do it down below, leave a like, subscribe, share, and I will see you all in the next part. Goodbye.